Well, new medical technology in the classroom is giving Oklahoma students some hands-on experience, even if it's not on flesh and blood. Here's our Courtney Dehoff to explain. Many nursing students in rural Oklahoma have to travel to Tulsa and Oklahoma City to complete their clinicals, but new technology is making it possible to do it in small towns all across Oklahoma. He sounds like a patient. He looks like a patient. And he reacts like a patient. Meet Sim Man. It's the closest out thing out there to a real patient without practicing on a real patient. Does that make sense? It's Tara Thomas is the health time. director at so Northwest Technology get Center. Introduced to this to see how this works. We have purchased the Simman 3G for our students. Um, the reason we wanted to do a lot with the simulation, it gives the students more of an opportunity to have hands-on experience for a mannequin that would actually go through a lifelike scenario. It would um, have a situation where let's say a person came in with chest pains and then would go ahead and go through the process of having the heart attack and the student would have to use critical thinking skills to be able to then go ahead and see what symptoms are being presented to see the action that they should select. Pain is bad. It's like a, a mule kicked me in the chest. The extremely lifelike mannequin talks on a scale to one to ten and his nurses listen, helping prepare them for real life emergencies. And a lot of times with simulation, it gives the students a good time to practice before they actually get into a real life situation. And then they have kind of an inkling of the response that they would naturally have. And if it was a response that wasn't necessarily the right response, we can help correct that before they get out in the real world of work. Work that includes everything from taking vitals and blood pressure to listening to heartbeats. Okay, what can I do? All to what see how to students react in a stressful environment. The patient nice thing about waiting. simulation is they have a debriefing feature. As we um, work with Sim Man, he has a video camera that catches the whole scenario that the students interact with him. And after it's finished, we can debrief the student, let them actually watch the video footage of themselves, and then they could see how they are you know, respond. A lot of times it just improves that critical thinking for the student to really let them see, you know, when they're in the situation of high stress, how they're going to react. And then if it's not, again, at the appropriate time, we can go ahead and retrain and recorrect and reinforce that before they're in that real life setting. Lung sounds, you can hear his bell A real life sounds. setting that is only you can also a feel his away. pulses at different well, such technology isn't cheap, and Simmans can run anywhere from $27,000 to $80,000 each. And although pricey, when you consider the benefits to areas like Northwest Oklahoma, they are an investment in a healthier state.